we believe in what Mr. Alexander believes in. You know, he believes in, look, we want to provide great experiences for the people of Houston uh, through winning basketball games and competing for championships, and we're here to serve the community. We're here to serve the community, sp specifically the underserved in the community, so that we can make a difference in their lives. And those are things that we take to heart. We have all of our employees understand those things, and then we implement as best we can. Talk about what you mean by serving the underserved in the community. It's really about, um, we're all very fortunate. We work in the entertainment business. We work for uh, the Houston Rockets and Toyota Center. It's a very, um, we're very blessed. And uh, Mr. Alexander believes it's our obligation. It's not, just, it's not just lip service. It's our obligation to give back. So we identify platforms each year that we know that monetary donations as well as time and energy from our employees are going to make a difference for the people who aren't as who aren't as uh, fortunate as we are. So uh, we give, uh, Mr. Alexander personally, as well as the Rockets organization, give millions of dollars to the underserved in the community, whether it be uh, through, we've set up a, an educational platform with a group called the Kashmir Feeder System, which was a, a school system that was identified with HI, through HISD as being in trouble. And their graduation, their graduation rates were so low, they were about to close those schools down. So we went in, developed a partnership with Kashmir, not only through our financial support, but also support from our executives and our players, got those kids juiced about going to school, got the graduation rates up, and that system now is, is performing very well. That's great. So that makes us feel great. Sure. And then also, um, you know, places like Search, places like the Children's Assessment Center, you know, places that we know we can make a difference in the lives of those less fortunate through our through our financial contributions as well as through our time and, and energy. And I think it goes back to that word that you said, is that responsibility, because there is a great deal of privilege. I mean, if, you're, you know, if you've got a basketball team that's you know, selling out an arena every night or close to every night and doing what y'all are doing, then there's going to be some incredible rewards and blessings that come along with that. But you're talking about recognizing the responsibility that comes with that as well. Absolutely, and it's really a couple of things. You know, you, if you think about kind of, you know, our desire to compete for championships, that brings great joy to the community. When, when you put a winner on the floor or a competitive team on the floor with players like we have that, you know, we've got players, Yao Ming, Tracy McGrady, Dikembe Mutombo, who's been named, you know, the world's most generous athlete. You know, I don't, I'm not sure you can get a better uh, <laughs> accolade than that. It Truly, looks good he, on a resume. It looks good on a resume. You know, he just put $15 million of his own money into building the first hospital in Kinshasa in 40 years. So, you know, we've got guys, and Sh Shane Battier, we've got guys who our fans really look up to and say, you know what, not only do I want them to win, I want to root for them because I love what they're trying to do and I love who they are as people. Um, and then secondarily, you're able to not only make them excited about the product on the court and competing, and winning and hopefully delivering a great experience when they're here or when they're watching the games as fans, but also then putting our resources back into the community so we're right. serving the underserved. Um, it's a great way to spread the message as an organization.